Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we will be talking about triggers and your fear with triggers. I get so many messages on LinkedIn regarding this that sir, the moment I get a trigger scenario my mind goes blank and I'm not able to you know design the solution or think about the solution especially in interview mind goes my mind goes blank. So this happens with most of us in the beginning and uh, we will be covering how you can eliminate this problem or how you can solve this problem okay so i have divided this video into two sections on the section one we will be talking about the things you should avoid doing and in second section we will be talking about the things which you should do in order to be able to write your triggers effectively okay so starting with the things you should avoid doing first thing do not start writing directly okay the moment you get a trigger scenario do not open the developer console and just start writing think about the problem spend some time with the problem it is very important that you understand the problem you have to go to developer console only when you have a mind when you have a rough uh, flow chart or you can say an idea about the trigger what you are going to write, how you are going to write and a rough flow chart we can say. Try to write it down on paper because if you write it down on paper that will you know improve your logical thinking as well. In the developer console if you do go directly then you might go blank and will not be able to do. Second problem I see is that we randomly pick triggers. We need not to randomly pick triggers because if it is an easy trigger we will be able to write it and if it is very hard then we might get demotivated by it we have to strategically pick the triggers in the uh, in the increasing difficulty level so we'll have to start with the basic triggers on the triggers where we'll have to update the same object field then we have to go in incremental to update a parent object or the child object and then we have to go to maybe a grandparent or grandchild or uh, very complex trigger so do not randomly pick triggers try to pick it in the uh, increasing difficulty level okay uh, third problem which i see is that the moment we get to write trigger we start thinking about all the scenario at once we start thinking about insert update delete and whatnot everything at the at the first attempt try not to do that try to pick the simple thing first so if you feel that okay let's start with the insert and uh, let me try to build the logic like let's try to solve the problem instead of other things and then once i build logic for insert then i'll think about the problem this is called solving your problem by dividing it into multiple sub problems the moment you divide a problem into multiple sub problems your mind will focus on that particular sub problem for now it will not focus on the complete problem by this way you will be able to solve your problem easily okay also the problem i see is that people start thinking about the bulkification from the line one it is okay like once you'll become a seasoned salesforce developer that is natural you will be thinking about bulkification from the line one but for the beginners it is okay to just focus on the problem solution for now and then bulkify it at the end all the beautification you can do at the end but initially think about problem solving instead of bulkifying the trigger okay so the the aim is that you should not try to make the best possible trigger in the beginning itself it, it is a gradual process it will take some time so i hope uh, these are the things you will try to avoid and this will help you now let's talk about the things you should do okay to make uh, uh, to to eliminate the fear of it first i have already told break the problems into small pieces and work on it try to write it on copy uh, i have I, I got this suggestion from my senior and this helped me a lot i never go to developer console i first think about the problem go to uh, uh, pick up pick up copy and pen and try to uh, write on the flow chart of it okay it will help you if you want to check you can go to sfdc99.com and they have a very basic trigger but they have done first they have done the flow chart and then they have solved the problem by writing the code of it okay see uh, it is not necessary for everybody but this has helped me so that is why i am uh, trying to uh, 
uh, tell you all these things. The other thing is, uh, most of us uh, who start learning it uh, in the beginning, we directly start writing triggers. We have to spend some time on the fundamentals of Apex as well, because fundamentals are very important, and especially concepts like maps, concepts like wrapper classes, concepts like aggregate queries, these are very important from the trigger point of view spend some time on it instead of directly start writing triggers that is not a good approach you will be able to write the basic triggers but then the moment you will start getting the uh, related objects and parent grandparents map concepts will start kicking and then you will uh, lose uh, confidence in it we have covered map we have covered basic triggers i am going to put the link in the description you can check those things but make sure you at least know the concepts of map and nested map before you know trying your hands on triggers or at least know the basics of it then you will gradually increase your knowledge okay uh, I, I think other suggestions I've already told start with the insert and then uh, then put the update and delete scenarios do not think about all three DMLs in the beginning because uh, that will also not help you okay and uh, when I was learning triggers, there was a site called automationchampion.com, which is very good for flows and it was very good for process builder as well. But I used to convert those scenarios into triggers as well because it has thousands of scenarios. So most of the time people feel that what will be the, uh, what is the material where I can get the scenarios. You will get the easy, medium, difficult, all kinds of scenarios. In fact, solution is also there. Just try to uh, convert it into triggers. You can also go through the SFDC Ninja uh, uh, Ninja's YouTube channel. That is also very good. I have covered basic soft triggers from SFDC99.com because I was admin first. So that is very good for people who are admin and want to learn development. You can try their playlist, try their uh, website. There is a complete blog available for that. Do that and uh, let me know if that helps you or not. So these are the things, see it is not very difficult, it's just that we have to follow a process. Do not pick the complex trigger at the beginning, otherwise that will definitely demotivate you. Try to make sure that you know at least the basics of map, uh, later on nested maps and aggregate query because that we use a lot in the triggers and it is easy, it's just that we have to spend some time with the problem. Okay, so make sure you do that and let me know if it helps you. Feel free to ping me on LinkedIn and I'll be more than happy to chat with you. Thank you everyone.